Have you ever been told that ovulation always happened on day 14 of your cycle? I want you to pause right here and listen carefully because the truth is ovulation day is not the same for every woman. It varies. And if you have been counting day 14 without understanding how your body really, really works, you might be calculating it completely wrong. Now, let's explain. And before that, listen, have you ever wondered why some people get pregnant easily when they try to conceive? Why others struggle for months? Or have you ever thought why doctors keep saying, make sure you know your cycle length? Here is the truth. If you have been calculating ovulation as day 14 every month, you might have been getting it wrong the whole time. And today, I am going to show you exactly how to calculate it correctly. Now, your menstrual cycle starts on the first day of your period. That is day one of your cycle. From there, the cycle runs until the day before your next period starts. Meaning, the total number of days is your cycle length. Note, many people think every cycle is 28 days and ovulation is always on day 14. But that is only true if your cycle is exactly 28 days. For many women, their period or cycles are short or longer. And that completely changes when ovulation happens. So, I will be taking five examples to explain and break down how to calculate your period correctly from short cycle to middle cycle to longer cycle length. So, you understand better. And note, many people confuse the calendar month, which is 30 to 31 days, with the cycle length. That is not the same. Calendar is fixed, like 30 to 31 days, but measure cycle is personal and can vary from woman to woman, like 28 days, 26, 28, 35 days, etc. So if someone has a 35 day cycle, a period will not come every 30 days, like the calendar. It will come every 35 days, meaning her ovulation also shifts later compared to a woman with a shorter cycle. Hope you understand. That is why two women can both start their periods on August 1st, for example, but one with a 26-day cycle may ovulate by August 12th, while another with a 35-day cycle may ovulate by August 21. Sure you see the differences. So let's make this very simple. Ovulation usually happens around 14 days before your next period begins. This means we don't count 14 days from the start of your period. We count 14 days backward from your expected next period, which means to use this method, your period must be very, very stable. For you to get it correctly, let me give you an example so you understand better. First, remember, a menstrual cycle is not the same as the calendar month. Like calendar usually, which is 30 or 31 days, then cycle the number of days from your day one of one period, which is when bleeding starts, to the day before the next period. So like I said before, your cycle might be shorter. Example, 28 days. Average 28 to 30 days or longer 35 days and above. First, let's start with a 35 day cycle. Let's use this one as a first example. If your cycle is 35 days long, that means day one, the first day of your period, the next day one, which will be your next period, we come 35 days later, not necessarily on the same calendar, like on the same calendar date. Hope you get me. When your cycle is 35 days, it simply means your body takes a little longer before the next period begins. That is why ovulation also happens later compared to someone with a 28-day cycle. The rule to remember is, Ovulation usually happens about 14 days before your next period. So it doesn't always fall on day 14 of the cycle. 
it depends on your own cycle length so let's say your period begins august first since your cycle is 35 days your next period should come around september 4. if we count 40 days back from september 4 ovulation will fall around august 21 which is day 21 and because sperm can live up to five days inside the female body your fertile window is august 16 to 21. this is why calendar calculation is different so many people think ovulation is always day 14 but that is only true if your cycle is exactly 28 days not the other way around for longer cycles like 35 days ovulation shifts forward to day 21 hope i'm making sense so if your cycle length is 26 days here is how you calculate it let's say your cycle is 26 days which means if your last period started on the first then your next period should start coming around day 26 so ovulation usually happens about 14 days before your next period not always day 14 of the cycle but 14 days before the next flow of blood do you guys even understand are you guys even getting me so in a 26 day cycle ovulation will likely happen around day 12 not day 14 which means on the 12th of the month is your ovulation please note if only your period starts on the first door don't get me wrong and now your fertile windows like when you have higher chances of getting pregnant will be around the 7 to the 12. hope you understand now listen very carefully if your period starts on the first of the month that is day one then by day 12 of that same month your body is likely releasing an egg and since sperm can live up to five days in your body your fertile window will be from day seven to day 12. so if you were only waiting for day 14 because of the common meat you would have already missed your fertile days like if you are trying to conceive Shabi, you see imagine trying for pregnancy for months but always targeting day 14 when in reality your body ovulates on day 12. that simply mistake can cost you month after month of trying so hope you understand me now so now let's take another example so you guys can understand better and let's use a 30 day cycle so now let's calculate it a 30 day cycle length is 30 days so which means your next period will be day 30 you will now subtract 14 which means ovulation is around day 16. so if day one was your period can't forward by day 16 your head is likely released fertile window will be around day 11 to day 16. so for a 30 day cycle says on day 12 13 14 15 or 16 has the highest chances of leading to pregnancy so can you see now how different women have different fertile windows so if your cycle is 30 days and you followed the day 14 rule you would be two days too early for your ovulation so let's break it further if your cycle is 38 days next period will be day 38 right now you now subtract 14 ovulation around will be around day 24 so for a long cycle like this ovulation does not even happen until the fourth week after your period started so fertile window will be day 19 to day 24. if you have longer cycles and you are counting day 14 or more and you are probably trying to conceive you are wasting your time this is why so many women say i have tried i have been trying but nothing is happening it is not always infertility in every cases sometimes it's just because you are doing the wrong timing so let's move forward to the next example a short period which is 22 day cycle so if your cycle is 22 days next period will be day 22 right now subtract 14 ovulation will be around day 8 so ovulation happens very early in the cycle fertile window will be around day 3 to day 8 so now think about this carefully if you have a short cycle and you wait for this 14 
you have already ovulated though, a long time ago and your fertile window is gone past you don't pass on by the time you even start trying you have already missed it now how to calculate ovulation days after your period let's make this crystal clear here is how you can do it yourself number one is track your period for two to three months to know your average cycle length to know the accuracy two take that number and subtract 14 that gives you ovulation day and number three is your fertile window is five days before that ovulation day so in all of this what i'm trying to say is cycle late 26 your ovulation day will be day 12 which means your fertile window will be day 7 to day 12. cycle late of 30 ovulation day will be day 16. fertile window will be day 11 to day 16. cycle late of 35 days ovulation will be day 21. fertile window will be day 16 to day 21. cycle late of 38 days ovulation day will be 24. Fertile window will be day 19 to day 24. Cycle length of 22 days. Ovulation will be day 8. Which means fertile window will be around day 3 to day 8. The big truth is ovulation is not always on day 14. It depends on your cycle length. Your fertile window shifts depending on whether your cycle is short, normal or long. So the reason so many women miss their fertile days or they get pregnant when they don't want to is because they are always following the same rule. But your body is unique. Once you understand your personal cycle length, you unlock your true fertile window. So you see how simple it is. If this video opens your eyes, tell me in the comment section, what is your cycle length? And did this surprise you? Like, are you shocked? And don't forget to subscribe and also share this video to someone because someone is out there who actually needs this video. So share it to everyone that you know. And thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.